Howdy YouTube, Darlington Farm here, just over here in the wood shop. And I uh, had a couple people uh, ask me about my dust collector. So I thought I would show you what I have set up here for my dust collector. I've got a Powermatic 3 horse uh, with the filter cans on top here, bags beneath. Uh, running into a piece of 6 inch duct, which runs over here into my super dust deputy right there uh this is a cyclone separator and it does a really nice job um i don't remember how much i paid for this but it wasn't a whole lot and i just have it bolted onto a piece of mdf here which sits on top no seal or anything of a brute can which seals up and works just perfect which there i have running into a piece of five inch flex into this uh, thin-walled uh, Schedule 35, I think, 4-inch uh, uh, duct, which I have kind of running along back here. I have drops that go, this one goes to my table saw, and then this one goes back here to the, where I usually hook up the molder. Um, if I was doing this again, I would probably use 5 or 6-inch the whole way. Um, I did this just because it was cheap, and my initial plan did not involve any of this other ducting along here it was just a straight shot along here and for that it was fine but it is a little uh you know restrictive when you get farther out so yeah but it works pretty well um i just have blast gates i picked those up at menards they're just kind of like the general generic blast gates and then uh rocklers and Woodcraft bolts sell an adapter that goes between, you know, four inch PVC and a, uh, and a blast gate there. That's just, uh, you know, that's where I picked those up. I just put some self tapping screws in. You can sort of see one of them poking out there to kind of hold it, hold stuff on. And it just runs along here. And yeah, I have kind of drops now and then I have the one on my, uh, drill press there. And it just kind of runs along. And then over here I have one for my bandsaw, and then this one shoots up over. And then I have a drop for the CNC there. And then I had planned on putting another drop in for the shaper over here, but I just I didn't get enough uh, elbows and, or enough uh, Ys and uh, didn't get it in there. So yeah, shoots over which this is the part that doesn't really have a whole lot of suction. I probably should have split it off right there and gone up in retrospect. So if you're doing something like this, uh, just yeah, short, keep your runs as short as possible. Uh, and then it, it comes down and I have a drop here for my planer, which as you can see, I have a booster on there. That's a Grizzly. Um, I think that is a one and a half horse. It might be a two horse, I don't remember. Um, I got this a long time ago, actually. Um, I don't remember exactly why I got it, but I needed it for something and uh, it actually works uh, just great. Um, the planer even uh, just coming straight off on this drop over here, you know, right next to the separator, it was kind of borderline on having enough suction to keep the chips out. But with the, uh, you know, with this, uh, I think, I think that's a two horse. Anyway, with that blower there, that uh, gives it enough suction to really pull all the chips out um, and really, you know, suck it out of there. And it just shoots it up and around. And then over, I have this one over here for my drum sander, which is kind of, again, so just barely borderline. I could probably get rid of this flex hose here and, and bring that up a bit. But uh, yeah, there's not as much as I'd like over here, but this kind of works for now. And I do have it set up on my IVAC uh, remote there. Um, somebody asked if I had put the remotes on my individual tools. Uh, no, I just, I like having this. I can just, you know, put it in my pocket and click it on and off whenever I want, which is pretty convenient. And then this one over here, just, uh, you know, when I'm actually using the planer, I have to, uh, you know, separately uh, turn it on. And then, uh, oh, I use the same one over here. I just move it over on my jointer there whenever I uh, need to use the jointer, which is not all that super often. But yeah, that's my uh, dust collector setup. I also have a uh, uh, an air filter up here. Um, probably wouldn't have gone with the Powermatic there and spent the money on that one, but I got it on sale where I got it really cheap, and uh, that's why I 
I went with that. Um, I, if I remember correctly, that just takes a 12 by 24 furnace filter and I stack them too deep in there uh, to try and keep everything out or to try and get as much out before it gets to the main filter as I can. But yeah, that's my uh, that's my dust collector setup. Um, these brute cans are awesome uh, as far as moving stuff around. Uh, you know, when I'm running a lot of molding, I can run through six of these brute cans in no time flat. So I, um, you know, that's kind of a bummer uh, or that's kind of a pain. You know, just having to break for lunch and load these in my truck and take stuff out to the farm and dump it. Uh, when I build my shop out at the farm, I'm just going to bypass or I'll probably just have this set up differently. Um, I'm probably going to just go ahead and set my planer and molder uh, to run off of uh, just a smaller blower like this and just duct it straight outside uh, into a pile uh, where I can just use a front loader to move the chips around um, as this just makes a huge volume of chips um, which is nice but as I can use it out at the farm it just it really uh, you know fills up these brute cans pretty quick so yeah anyway there's my uh, dust collection setup I guess I can run the same drop over to the uh, disc sander there when I need it but yeah so that's my uh, that's my setup here um, this is the IVAC how I have the IVAC wired in um, the IVAC here, I believe you're only supposed to use it up to one horsepower or one and a half horsepower. So what I have it set up to do is I have it set up to run a contactor, like a 10 horsepower contactor that I put in that, uh, in that uh, housing there. So all it does is it switches the contactor on and off. And then kind of this mess here runs it all. But anyway, yeah, so that's what, uh, that's how it all works. But yeah. Definitely, you don't want to uh, you don't want to use the IVAC there to actually switch a big load like this. And here I can uh, you can kind of hear the uh, contactor there. That's a monstrous, you know, 50 amp uh, contactor in there. But anyway, yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh, any other questions? Just uh, you know, comment uh, on a video there. I'm not real good at responding to personal messages. Um, I don't see them uh, as often uh, as I should. But anyway, yes, I'm Darlington Farm, and I'm kind of uh, rambling here, so please comment, rate, and subscribe, and just let me know if there's anything else you want to see. And there's my dust collector.